Hello, this is Sean Hurley. I'm a platform technology evangelist for Autodesk. With AutoCAD 2011, we've made some powerful changes in 3D. What I wanted to show is just a small three new command taste of that power with the new surfacing. I've modeled with surfaces a front end for a toy car. What I'm going to do is finish the lights on the right side of the car to match the ones on the left using the new surface commands for trim, fillet, and patch. You'll notice as I pause over the item in the ribbon, it shows what the command does. Just a little video tip. So what I want to do is I want to trim the body of the car, which is a surface, with the housing of the, the light, and then select the inside for the area of the surface to trim. It'll take just a second and we'll have our, our finished uh, trim. And there we go. I'm going to repeat the same process with the smaller fog light at the bottom. Again, selecting the body, using the housing as the trimming edge, and then selecting an inside as the area to remove. I'll rotate around here and you can see it's exactly what I wanted. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill it from the housing to the body. And I have options for trim surfaces. So I could trim off the surfaces when I make that fillet. Let's, let's see what that does. You can see that it trimmed off the inside of the housing. I don't want that, so I'm going to set the default option back to the no. And that's what I wanted to fill it. I'm going to repeat the same process on the smaller fog light housing to the body. And there we go. Now one thing that's really nice about this is I can go to the fillet and I can select it and I can dynamically change the the radius of that fillet. Now if I'm using associative surfaces that could also break the association of the surfaces which that's what that warning is for. But again I could change the fillet by, radi by a value or dynamically. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the lenses for the, le the lights. I'm going to select the edge of the surface there. I'm going to take the defaults for the, for the uh, settings now I'm going to select that lens and select the options to set it as a G1 tangency. It gives me a slight bulge and that's what I want for the headlight. The bottom on the, on the fog light, I'm going to take all the defaults and leave it as a flat lens. Now all that's all it's left is materials. So I'll pull an amber glass material onto the fog light and a frosted glass for the top. And there you have it. It's done. That's exactly what I wanted. It looks really nice and sharp and that's some of the new surfaces in quick fashion. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.